the community, I mean, started to publish papers looking at what actually happened if you got to net zero, as we call it now, and actually we discovered that warming um, stopped pretty quickly, actually. Um, and there's been a whole kind of zero model in a comparison project that's, that's established that. So, and, and that's, that's relatively good news, right? It means that if we can get uh, particularly CO2 down to zero, uh, net zero, then we know that warming uh, will stop fairly soon afterwards, and that carbon dioxide concentrations will very slowly begin to don't have to discover any particularly new technologies or anything to get on with reducing emissions. What we're talking about, and everyone's mentioned it one way or the other, is essentially a, a political problem. And just finally, um, I've come to the feeling that um, with relation to the Albanese government, that nearly everything they've done on climate is performative. So I, I was expecting, and I think many were, that there would be you know, renewable energy targets, for example, that we would have had by now motor vehicle standards, um, not just for cars, but also for trucks and so on. Uh, and we don't have them, and emissions are going up, and there's no real sign of this coming in to force within the next few years. The government says it doesn't give any subsidies to fossil fuels. <laughs> so I think it reported to, is it uh, some international forum, maybe it was the OECD, uh, they said we don't, we don't subsidise fossil fuels. And so the Australian Institute FOI'd that, and there's all these documents from Treasury, they're, they're probably still on Treasury FOI log, uh, where they were gradually kind of whittling away or justifying how this doesn't have to be a subsidy, this doesn't have to be a subsidy. So our analysis is very conservative, but it is based on IMF and OECD classifications of what a subsidy is. And the government and industry still contests it. It's because it's so politically charged. We just used what is in, indisputably a tax concession or a subsidy or direct grant. Finally,